ஹலோ குட் ஈவினிங் வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் திவிகே ஃபிசிக்ஸ் கிளாஸஸ் இந்த லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் வி ஹவ் லேர்ன்ட் பேரல் குரூப்பிங் ஆஃப் செல்ஸ் ரைட் ஸோ வென் மோர் தேன் டூ செல்ஸ் ஆர் கனெக்டட் இன் பேரல் காம்பினேஷன் தென் வாட் இஸ் த எஃபெக்ட் டு இஎம்எஃப் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் த டோட்டல் இன்டர்னல் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் டோட்டல் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி சர்க்கியூட் தென் ஹவு டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் கரண்ட் இன் தி சர்க்கியூட் தென் டெர்மினல் பொட்டென்ஷியல் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் அக்ராஸ் எனி செல் ரைட் ஸோ தோஸ் திங்ஸ் வி ஹவ் லேர்ன் இன் தி லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ அண்ட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் mixed grouping of cells okay already we have done series combination as well as parallel combination of cells right and in this video we are going to learn so when cells are uh, grouped in both series as well as in um, parallel combination then what is the effect of emf so that we are going to find out in this video right okay <clears throat> so keep heading a uh, mixed grouping of mixed grouping of cells right so mixed grouping means what so cells will be there in both series as well as parallel combination say for example here uh, we are taking uh, a special case means what all these cells that we are connecting are identical means what each of them or every one of them are having same emf as well as same internal resistance okay we are taking such a cells here right so first i am taking here internal resistance again another cell with the internal resistance and so on i am taking here n cells okay this is the first row similarly i am taking here another row with same n number of cells okay and so on this number of rows continues up to m okay right okay so this is the number of cells connected in series as well as parallel combination so here uh, let us take so this is the first row second row and so on m rows we are taking total of m rows and here first cell second cell and so on n cells here so in each row n number of cells are there so first one second one and so on n cells so every cell has the same emf and the same internal resistance here also same emf same internal resistance so same emf and same internal resistance and now this combination of cells is connected externally to a resistor okay let that is capital r so this is a series as well as see if you take one particular row in that one particular row all cells are in series combination right in this row first row right n cells are in series in second row also n cells are in series and in third row fourth row and so on in mth row also all n cells are in series okay and each row is now parallel in parallel with this external resistor now we have to find out so what is the effect to emf all of all these uh, cells means what all these uh, cells can be replaced by a single cell okay which gives same amount of current with that external resistor then what should be the emf of that equivalent cell okay so that we are going to find out okay right how to proceed and we know when n identical cells are in series then all these cells are replaced by a single cell so already we have done in series combination of cells right so series combination of n identical cells already we have done so from that result so these n cells can be replaced by a single cell okay so which is having okay a single cell all these cells can be replaced by a single cell of emf n into e and internal resistance also nr because e plus e and so on n cells therefore total number uh, total emf is n times of uh, single cell emf similarly this 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 all are in series combination between these two points therefore total internal resistance of this row is also equals to nr that means what first row is replaced by a single cell of emf n into e and the total internal resistance n into r similarly second row also can be replaced by the same cell of emf n e and internal resistance nr okay and this happens up to m rows okay so this is also ne okay that means what now this whole uh, circuit now is equivalent to this circuit now this is an external resistor capital r 
means what here so we are using the result of n identical series in series combination so all these cells can be replaced by a single cell of emf n into e and the internal resistance nr similarly second row and third row and fourth row and so on mth row is also replaced by same cell of emf n into e and internal resistance n into r okay right now these are m identical cells in parallel combination okay that also we have done just before this video i have given parallel grouping of identical cells okay so now this circuit is equivalent to m number of cells because m rows we have now so therefore m number of cells identical cells connected in parallel combination so how to say whether they are in parallel or series already i have explained right in the previous videos if all if it, both terminals of every battery is directly connected to external resistor then we say they are connected in parallel combination okay so from the previous video when n identical cells are in parallel combination then effective emf is also equals to emf of a single cell because already we have proved in the last video that if m number of identical cells are in parallel combination then the effective emf is also equals to emf of a single cell but what is the internal resistance so that also we have calculated in the last video so same procedure i am applying here okay so now when since all identity since all cells are identical cells are identical and connected in parallel connected in parallel grouping okay so net or effective emf is equals to simply n into e okay when m <coughs> identical cells are connected in uh, parallel grouping then effect to emf is also equals to emf of a single cell okay right now what is the internal resistance here when the resistors are connected in parallel grouping so effective resistance is equals to okay 1 by r plus 1 by r plus 1 by r and so on so how many are there here m resistors are there so therefore here 1 by nr plus 1 by nr plus and so on of m terms okay because m cells are there now here we have m rows therefore m cells so first cell second one and so on m cells are there all m cells are in parallel since all of them are identical effective emf is equals to emf of the single cell but now all these resistors are in parallel combination so therefore for parallel combination effective e uh, internal resistance is equals to reciprocal sum of reciprocals of individual resistors so like this since all of them are having same resistance so 1 by r uh, 1 by nr plus and so on m terms that means what here m upon n into r so from this or effective is equals to here it is of n r upon m so this is the net internal resistance of all these cells okay right so that means what again all these cells again can be replaced by a single cell and then what is the effective emf of that single cell which runs the same amount of current with the same external resistor that's the meaning what's the meaning of a uh, single cell effective emf means what all these cells are behaving like a single cell okay then what should be the emf of that single cell to run same amount of current that means what see all these cells together how much current is giving in this circuit same current is given by this combination with the same external resistor and again for this also we can calculate the effect of emf and that is equals to n into e that means what the whole combination can be equivalent to a single cell of emf n into e okay so now this can be further replaced by a single cell okay and what is its internal total internal resistance is how much so it is n into r upon m and here it is n into e and here we have external resistor capital r that means what this whole combination is now equivalent to this circuit a single cell having emf n into e and internal resistance n r upon m with external resistance capital r okay right now what is the current flowing in this circuit here okay tell me one more thing what is the total number of cells in this combination in the mixed grouping what is the total number of cells see here total number of cells is equals to total number of cells capital n is equals to so n cells in one row and number of rows is m so therefore n is equals to small n into small m is the total number of cells in this mixed grouping so so these n number of cells is now equivalent to a single cell of emf n into e with internal resistance n r upon m with external resistance capital r okay right so now what is the current that is given by this uh, grouping in this uh, circuit how to find out since this is equivalent to this and this is equivalent to this now here we can apply our kirchhoff's voltage law 
or which of current law you just tell me here so since if i take i amount of current from the positive terminal okay so here also i and here also it is i amount of current so now you just apply which of voltage law to find out the current in this circuit so let me rough this right so once we know that net internal resistance and emf just to find out the current in the circuit just apply kirchhoff's voltage law to that so let me take so this one is a and b and this one is c and this one is d okay so now applying so according to according to kirchhoff's voltage law to the loop a b c d a right so first a to b so current and we are tracing also our tracing also from a to b so therefore if current and measuring of potential direction if both are same then we will be getting minus sign so minus of i into n r upon m okay this is the potential drop across this internal resistance and the potential drop across this okay since we are going from low potential terminal to high potential terminal to the battery it is plus of n e okay and then we are coming to this external resistor again c to d so potential measuring direction and the current direction both of them are same so therefore minus of ir is the potential drop across external resistor so the sum of all potential changes in a closed loop must be equals to zero so that is our pitch of voltage law right so by applying that pitch of voltage law to that circuit so now we can find out so here minus i you can take common it is r here also minus i common so r plus n r upon m okay is equals to minus of n e so from this i is equals to n e so r plus n r by m so this is the current given by the combination of uh, that all cells okay right so this can be written as uh, further this can be written as so what is this term here so this is the total resistance of the circuit okay this is external resistance and this is internal resistance of all that combination of cells so therefore here important point is so total resistance of circuit uh, total internal resistance of combination is this much okay so if you want to write this in this form so it is r plus r effective okay so external resistance plus effective internal resistance is equals to total resistance of circuit uh. so total resistance of circuit is equals to external resistance plus effective resistance of internal resistances and that is equals to n r upon m okay so total emf upon total resistance will give us the current in the circuit okay right so this is the uh, derivation for the current supplied by that a mixed grouping of capital n number of cells okay right so the next condition is so let us next concept is so under what condition we can get maximum current from that combination of cells okay so what should be the condition for getting maximum current or maximum power from that combination of n number of cells means capital n number of cells so what is that condition okay so now let us see the condition for maximum current as well as maximum power okay so this is very important for getting that condition so next let us see condition for maximum current from that mixed grouping of cells so condition for maximum current okay right so just now we have got expression for current is equals to total emf upon external resistance plus effective internal resistance and that is equals to again ne upon here it is nr upon m okay so this is the uh, current given by that combination of cells in the circuit right so this uh, i can rewrite like this so if i divide by both numerator and denominator by n again then it is e upon so here it is r by n plus n r divided by m again n we are dividing therefore n n gets cancelled so further we can write it as so r divided by n plus n n gets cancelled therefore r by m okay right suppose uh, here uh, two variables are there so number of cells in each row and a number of rows two variables are there here because for a given cell emf is constant and here uh, internal resistance of each cell is also constant but here two variables are there so let me convert okay to any one variable because total number of cells uh, is equals to here n into m so therefore n can be replaced okay by this term so therefore if i replace this n by this term so then it is emf uh, is equals to r upon this n is equals to capital n divided by m that i am writing here plus r divided by m so therefore now current depends purely on m 
Why? For a given cell, uh, EMF uh, of each individual cell is fixed. Internal resistance of each cell is fixed. And the external resistor is also fixed. And total number of cells is also constant. Okay. In that combination, mixed combination, total number of cells is also constant. That means what here? Now, the current depends purely on the number of rows uh, in the mixed grouping. Okay. Right. Remember here, this I current value is maximum when this denominator value having a minimum value. Yes or not? Okay. If denominator value is minimum, then the current value will be maximum. So, therefore, condition is, so for the current to be maximum, okay, so the denominator of this should be minimum. That means what here, M R divided by N plus R divided by M, okay, must be minimum. Okay, when this value is equals to minimum value, then the current value will be maximum. Okay, again, when this term value will be having a minimum value, so now we have got a condition, right, See, in a differentiation, so especially in the mechanics part, we have applied conditions of maxima and minima, okay, when a function is having a minimum value at a given x, so for, suppose if we take y is a function of x, okay suppose if that variation of x is given by like this okay so y is having minimum value at this point okay so y is having minimum value at this point so what how do you say that y is having this uh, minimum value at this point so if you draw a tangent to that curve at this point uh, then slope of the tangent is equals to zero so slope of the tangent is equals to zero means what here dy by dx is equals to zero so that means what that is the condition so whenever i say y is having minimum value at this x uh, if you draw a tangent at that point slope of the tangent must be equals to zero that means what first derivative of y with respect to x at that point must be equals to zero so here also whenever this term is having a minimum value then differentiation of this function with respect to m because here only variable is m all others are constants so therefore differentiation of this term with respect to m must be equals to zero right so that is the condition for this term for having minimum value okay now let me apply that condition to this term to get that condition for maximum current we are doing right so now again so for minimum value of this okay so for minimum value of this uh, r by capital n into m plus r by m okay for minimum value of this term d by dm means what derivative of this term with respect to m must be equals to zero according to that condition of minimum of a function at a given x value right okay so here uh, external resistor value is not changing it's a fixed because that whole combination is connected to a fixed external resistor therefore r is constant and in that grouping also total number of cells is fixed only so therefore r by n is constant then d by dm of m is equals to here one so therefore it is r by n because d by dx of x is one okay plus again this can be written as here so d by dm into one by m can be written as m power minus one so must be equals to zero so here d by dx of x power n so what is the formula d by dx of x power n so d by dx of x power n equals to n into x power n minus 1 so n means what here power of that variable so here it is r by n plus r into so here minus 1 okay m power minus 1 again minus 1 so therefore here it is r by n okay so here minus of r divided by m square is equals to 0 n into x power n minus 1 okay according to this formula so this is the condition okay right <coughs> so now here what should be the condition so here if you talk about r is internal resistance of one cell it's a constant so therefore here it is r by n is equals to r upon m square so that is the condition for having maximum current okay in the circuit right suppose again here if you replace a capital n by this term then what we get here because in terms of number of rows and number of uh, each uh, number of cells in each row we have to express the condition for maximum current so again in place of that capital n i am substituting m into n is equals to r upon m square so one m here gets cancelled so therefore r is equals to n r upon m so this is the condition for the current to be maximum in the circuit so if you observe what is this one 
it is nothing but the net internal resistance of that mixed grouping of cells and this is external resistor so the condition for drawing maximum current from the mixed grouping is that the total internal resistance of the grouping must be equal to external resistance of the cell in such a case maximum current can be drawn from the cells in the circuit okay so this is that means what here external resistance external resistance in this circuit must be equals to net internal resistance when this condition is satisfied then maximum current is drawn from the mixed grouping of cells internal resistance of cells okay right when uh, with this condition now what is the maximum current now so we have i is equals to n into e upon r plus n r by m so this is the current in the circuit so this for maximum i for uh, i max okay so r is equals to n r upon m that's the condition we got for the current to be maximum external resistance must be equals to net internal resistance so with this condition means wherever this is there i am substituting again capital r so therefore here it is n e upon again r plus r okay in place of this i am substituting r so from this we can say that it is n e upon 2 r so this is the maximum current okay or otherwise let me write in a separate step it will be nice then okay so here let it be so i maximum so from that so i maximum is equals to n e upon so here r plus r is equals to n e upon 2 r right so this is the maximum current that can is drawn from the okay group mixed grouping of cells okay this is in terms of external resistance suppose in place of this if you substitute this one then what is the maximum current you just see here so because you can replace any term so n e by in place of this also i am writing this one so n r divided by m plus again n r divided by m so this gives us it is of n into e divided by 2 n r divided by m okay so it is uh, m n e divided by 2 n r so n n gets cancel so m e upon 2 r so this is the also the expression for maximum current in the circuit okay right so the maximum current can be drawn from the mixed grouping of cells if this condition is satisfied what is that external resistance of the circuit must be equals to net internal resistance of all these cells if that condition is satisfied then the current in the circuit is maximum and that maximum value of current is obtained by so it is uh, n number of means number of cells in each row that n into emf of each cell upon two times the external resistance this is one formula for maximum current another formula for maximum current is also number of rows into each cell emf upon two times if internal resistance of each cell okay so this is the current uh, maximum current so similarly we can write so what is the condition for maximum power okay so maximum power delivered by the combination of cells what is the condition so for maximum power also the condition is same only okay for maximum power delivered by the combination for maximum power also the condition is same r is equals to n r upon m external resistance is equals to internal net internal resistance of mixed grouping of cells okay right so now what is the net uh, power well, how to calculate power power is nothing but e a voltage into current okay so voltage into current means what here so uh, voltage net emf is how much here so n into e is the net emf and then uh, current value is equals to already we have got na maximum value of current expression is this much okay so therefore here so power is equals to here so emf into current or otherwise net emf of the combination net emf into current since we are talking about maximum power so therefore maximum current we can substitute here so net emf is how much ne and then maximum current is how much here it is ne upon 2r so therefore here it is of n square e square upon 2r okay so this is one formula for maximum power drawn from the mixed grouping of cells or otherwise what it can be the another formula so it is net emf is ne into i maximum another formula of i maximum is equals to m into e upon 2r so here also it is m into n e into e e square upon it is okay two times of small r okay it is small r okay so what is this again m into n is nothing but total number of cells in the mixed grouping divided by two times of r so this is the expression for maximum power drawn from the mixed grouping of cells okay so this is about mixed grouping of cells so we have done uh, 
parallel grouping of cells, series grouping of cells and mixed grouping of cells and in mixed grouping of cells when the current can be drawn or maximum current can be drawn or what should be the condition for the uh, maximum current in the circuit and that condition is external resistance must be equal to net internal resistance of the mixed grouping of cells, right. So with this we have completed grouping of uh, cells and then the next video I will give a next or another topic, okay. So till then keep learning, thank you, thank you very much.